<coughs> okay, let's get started. There might be more people coming. <coughs> so it's my great pleasure to introduce to you um, Chochi Makamoto. Most of you have met him already during demos today and lunch, lunch break. He's an associate professor at the Tokyo Metropolitan College of Industrial Technology. And he worked also for Mitsubishi. He yeah. did his PhD at the uh, Chiba University in 2007. Yeah. Now you're a social professor. We are very happy to have you here from April to September yeah. to your sabbatical. Yeah. Hopefully, we have a fruitful operation. Yeah. His research interest is computer vision, mainly computer vision and graphics. Yeah. And the talk that we will present is on appearance reproduction of material properties using a projector camera system. Thank you for your kind introduction, Professor Oliver. Uh, good evening, everyone. Uh, I'm Shou Jiro. Please call Shou. Shou is a short name. Yeah. So I come, came from Tokyo Metropolitan College for Industrial Technology. And uh, today, I would like to talk about appearance reproduction of material property by using projection image. So, as a first, uh, I show you uh, two CZs. Uh, anyone? What kind of material is this object? Anyone? What Metal. kind of material? Metal? Yeah. Glass. Glass? Glass. Glass. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I think that uh, this is a metal, yeah, like aluminium, and this is a um, ceramic, ceramic, glossy ceramic. So, why can can you identify the material? So, uh, it is very interesting of human ability uh, based on the visual memory. So, such ability. The analysis of our visual perception is proceeding. Example, uh, the visual information detected by eyes introduced to the brain leads to the, at the primary part of, uh, visual cortex. And uh, two strings of visual perception are already found. One is a segmentation recognition, and the other is a object recognition. And recently, at the middle of two stream, the alternative cell about material was discovered. This cell have a selective and of a gross appearance. So, and it is very interesting. This cell uh, position, this this cell of position, position of this cell is uh, between the middle of two stream. So. It is very interesting things. So, in this research, we compare the, uh, this process. This process is very similar to dichromatic, uh, dichromatic writing, light reflection model, I think. Object recognition uh, mainly contributed by the color, texture, shading, mainly diffuse component. And on the other hand, special recognition uh, is contributed by the gross reflection disparity, mainly uh, specular. So we try to uh, reproduce this element to clarify the visual perception for material property. So especially in our research, uh, we use a projection image in a uh, to for uh, visual simulation because the projection image has a high luminance and contrast and have a high speed switching and it uh, used for computational capability and uh, mixed uh, can perform the mix, uh, mixture uh, virtual uh, mixing virtual and real world. Since we apply this research to the industrial applications such as uh, digital mocha uh, visual simulation, so the projection image is beneficial for our research. 
So <laughs> there are uh, contents of my talk today. First, I will, I will explain my background and this research. And next, um, <coughs> next uh, I explain the basic framework of our research and uh, reproduction, uh, reducing appearance and analyzing appearance. And I will finally conclude our research. So first, my background, I will explain. Before six years, uh, I worked to uh, uh, Mitsubishi Heavy about 15, uh, 15 years after master degree. I worked to the, in the uh, Mitsubishi Heavy industry. This company is the largest uh, plant manufacturing company in Japan. They produce a transformation, a transportation, example for an airplane and rail train and ships. And, uh, and they, pro they produce uh, generate energy, energy generations, like this company, like Siemens in Germany. So in, our, in this company, I developed a... Uh, oh, oh. In this company, I have developed a lot of vision sensing system. For example, um, what is the inspection of well, uh, surveillance system and automobile assist system and finally robot. Do you know this robot? Wakamaru in the Japan, from Japan. So <coughs> among them, uh, automatic color control for printing machine was a typical development for me. This system can uh, measure the Precious color for printing and measures the color based on the color, the measured color, color uh, control the ink amount of printing machine. <coughs> this is a video uh, of my development. This is me about 10 years ago. <laughs> so this system can measures of spectral information uh, about uh, 10 minutes, uh, 10, uh, 10 seconds. Uh, this system can detect uh, 0 0.5, 0 0.5 square spectrometer for the seat. So it is very difficult to quantify the human sensitivity in this research, but very interesting to simulate the visual perception. example for visual from image contrast and color contrast, we can, the human um, can detect the difference between the slightly color change. So I wish to make more realistic visual system. Example, this is a digital mockup for printing or uh, what, uh, visual simulation for printing. So, Therefore, I entered, I entered in doctor course of Chiba University. This university is good at photograph and graphic computer graphics and image processing, like this. So <coughs> next, I will talk about the basic framework of my research. What is the projection color matching? And the other is a measuring real deal and shape. At first, we, uh, we control the projection radiance, uh, radiance with a color matching. Our system is very simple. If the, there are printed paper and uh, with a white illuminance from projection image, the observer can detect the radiance. If the uh, photomet photometric, uh, photometric measurement instrument is uh, set instead of the observer, the refractor radiance is indicated by this equation. It is noted that the spectral information in this equation. And next, 
we use uh, white paper and project is a color image. The observer can detect the same radiance. So by making a relationship, the desired radiance is reproduced. Here, this is a plain object, but even if the object is solid, radiance can calculate by using the normal vector with the reflex. To get the relationship between the projector, projection image and the reflected light, we measure the spectral variance corresponding to the each pixel value. Here, D is indicated the pixel value. And to, uh, to make a relationship between the each values, we apply the comp uh, principal component analysis. So, radiance, reflected radiance is indicated this, in this equation. Here, VR, VG, VB is a uh, base, uh, basic functions, and D is a pixel value, and the spline coefficient is like this. So, for the relationship between the radiance, uh, reflected radiance and the projection image, we transform from spectrum to XYZ stimulus. Here, this matrix is regular, so we can calculate the inverse, trend, uh, inverse matrix and the, the input, input value is uniquely determined by the calculated coefficient. So we next we verify the accuracy of this system. This system um, consists of the projection, mirror, and printed object. So this is a result of my research. So which is a projection or real? But it is difficult in this presentation, but Left side is a printing and right side is a projection on the white paper. So it is very similar. And we can verify the color difference by using the CI Delta Easter. So we can get, we can, it is clear that our projection accuracy has a delta, less than Delta Easter equal to. So the projection matching up, uh, projection match up preciously in, with the real object. <coughs> Moreover, uh, we consider the enhancement of reality by synthesizing with projection. By using cabinet camera, the reflected reflectance of real object can be estimated. And the result is shown in this uh, following picture. At the initial setting, upper colors are different to the different from the target point. But we calculate the additional color based on the camera information. As a result, since upper is synthesizing with the projection, so the uh, additional projection color is uh, matched to the target color. So next, I'm sorry, <laughs> next I will explain the measurement, measure the PRDF shape as a basic framework. Firstly, a uh, photometric spatial uh, spectral imaging system. This system has an illumination with robot and 3D scanner and a multi band filter with camera that, is, uh, that can measure the spectral data. Especially separation of specular, this one, uh, spec, uh, separate of specular and diffuse uh, is performed by the changing of the uh, po uh, polarizer direction. Finally, we can detect, we can uh, reproduce the object with arbitrary illuminant and viewpoint, like this. One is a major 
2. And another measurement method is based on the projection, a project camera system. This camera can uh, measure 3D shape and render arbitrary appearance by using much projection. <coughs> the follow of measurement and reproduction, reproduction indicated here. But uh, I prepare the video according to the this flow. Please watch it. <coughs> At the first, we perform the project calibration and setting the mock object. Firstly, uh, we measure the uh, shape of object by using a structure right method and. We calculate the appearance in the CG and projecting. It is like this uh, right, uh, the, the, I'm sorry. We can get the uh, uh, appearance and measures the uh, shapes. This, uh, as a result, we can reproduce several appearance of uh, projection image. One is a remarkable feature is a wide range of projection. This system displays appearance about 120 angles. And if we change the texture of object, we can see the another appearance in this system. And recently, uh, we tried to use for analysis of reflected light uh, pass by using a Right field camera. Our, this is, uh, our system is an aperture synthesis type by moving X by stage. This is the flow of our system. Firstly, uh, we get several pictures according to the movement of X by stage and set the unique, unique position to, uh, and correct the perceptive error and uh, separate the specular and diffuse component by using the optical flow and reconstruct the various appearance of image. So this is a result, one of the results. Only at this spa uh, space, this object can uh, uh, be from right field information. This is a change of the right position case. And another application, we can um, change the number of right and focus condition. So up to this presentation, I, present, uh, I presented about measurement. So from now, I talk about reach of reproducing appearance. This, uh, this schema uh, consists of the three parts. One is the gloss uh, and grindness and reflections. First, about the gross appearance. Even if we make a realistic CZ, the gross position is not so strong in this figure. So, <laughs> to increase the perception, some motion are affected, I think. Like this, the specular is moved. So, therefore, we develop the gross reproducing method with the observer's motion. So, in this system, we need a head position tracking to detect the observer's movement. And we need a real time rendering. We need a real time rendering to reproduce the movement of the specular pattern. So, for the head position tracking, we use the electromagnetic sensor on the head. This sensor can detect the 3D space positioning based on the right field generator. And the detected position data is sent to the personal computer and calculate the speaker pattern according to the change of head position. Here, the real-time rendering is required, so therefore we adapt the GPUs instead of the CPU. 
Next, I will explain the uh, rendering algorithm. So, in our algorithm, uh, appearance of each position is calculated to pass rendering. Uh, if the projector, projector and observer and object position is known and the shape and the reflectors, reflectors of object is known, we can calculate the appearance of real object in the virtual world. Also, we can calculate uh, appearance of mock object. So here, difference between the two objects is stored in the graphic memory. Since this difference is additional appearance of at the observer, so we perform the inverse rendering and calculate the output of the projection image. And for the real time, this rendering process is implemented on GPU. GPU is have a pipeline, much pipeline process, so two process is parallel calculated. And it is noted that the color matching process is included in this algorithm. So this is an experimental result for real-time rendering. The real object and mock object. The uh, projector is uh, set to the screen. And uh, this is a real object uh, that has a colored and gross appearance. This is a mock object uh, with a matte white paper. And observer can detect. So this image is a camera sensor, a camera position according to the camera position. Right is a real, a left is a real, and right is a projection image. So we can, so you can see a very realistic reproduction of gross on the matte surface. Next, to verify the grass appearance, we perform the objective and subjective evaluation. And as the objective evaluation, the reflective radiance of each object is measured. The result is here. And we, it is clear that the accuracy, accuracy of the production is performed in this system. As a similar uh, subjective evaluation, uh, certain observer evaluates the uh, appearance of mock object compared with the uh, real object. Uh, the average point is uh, 71. So this system can reproduce a uh, gross with uh, physical and psychological correction, correctness. But if the observer has a still picture as a movement, not movement, reality becomes insufficient. So next uh, approach is uh, why does a still picture become insufficient as a reality before the system? This figure shows the differences of gross appearance between the object and the real object and the projection image. Since the projection image made from form model, so it is difficult to reduce the detail of graph. Grayness. Grayness means a uh, disparity of the gross appearance. So this is, I think, that this is a limitation of model-based rendering. So therefore, we next try, we apply the image-based rendering for gross appearance. The task of this development is to construct the algorithm of PTF rendering and to create the idea for the real-time rendering. It is well known that uh, many, many um, image uh, is needed. So necessary to, we, necessary to, we are necessary to uh, develop the effective image, uh, composition, and extraction. So VTF database is pro uh, proposed by Donna in 1997. It, it, is a, it, it has a 
it is this is a characteristic of reflection by elements, but weak point of BTF is accurate reproduction needs uh, several sounds of more images. Therefore, mirror mirror PCA method. In this method, they convert to the BTF data set to the BRD wise arrangement and classify the direction database using the k-mean clustering. This uh, k-mean clustering it has an NDP engine space, so PCA is applied to this cluster. It is very effective compression, but gives many bases. There are many bases not to real time. So we, can, uh, we must uh, <coughs> decrease the basis number. So this is a conventional Mura, Mura's uh, algorithm. They uh, divided by the RGB color, but this method is has a mm, this method cannot uh, uh, this method uh, depends on the take uh, compressive of the texture. So. This is uh, our proposed method. We can divide, uh, we can detect, uh, we can, we can make, we measure the object divided by the specular and the shadow and the texture. And uh, only a specular and shadow uh, decompose, uh, compose, uh, compression, compress the PCA and the compress and finally texture synthesized. This <coughs> method has an advantage. The number of the compression is less than the conventional method. And the regular pixel value is possible, accurately compression by few number of PC. This is a one point. So <coughs> this is a, a, our BTF measuring for proposal method. First, <coughs> Mm -hmm. so we use uh, two pieces of polarizer uh, to separate the specular uh, and diffuse component. Under the parallel condition, uh, the image fit includes the specular and the diffuse component. And when the polarizer includes of the camera change to the cross condition, we can get the diffuse and the shadow component. And light axis is almost the same as the camera. We can get the diffuse Fourier texture element. Here, uh, finally, we uh, we calculate the, this sample and this sample specular calculated, and this process uh, calculates the shadow component. And finally, we apply the LPCA, and finally, uh, BTF data is synthesized. For our proportion method, we evaluate the accurate of the reproduction by using a computer simulation. First result is the article image based on the phone model. K is a cluster, um, cluster number, and C is a component, um, principal com component of number. So it is clear that uh, our proposed method is, is uh, very precious by uh, compared with the conventional method. And the next figure shows the uh, actual by using the actual measured data. In conventional method, it is necessary to 24 component need. But our method, uh, only uh, we can, uh, the proposed method can reproduce a BTF image accurately with a few number of principal components. So, we examine the proposed system with gross, repro uh, gross thinness reproduction. This figure shows an introduction, an illustration of the experimental system. 
for the screen, mobile object is set with an electromagnetic sensor. And this sensor can detect the direction. And the computer uh, generates uh, BTF data according to the position data, uh, direction data. This video shows the experimental result. I'm sorry, the experiment is hard made. Yeah. The position is not, not good, but uh, for the real time rendering is performed by using the, our proposed BTF compressions. And uh, I introduced uh, another trial for mirror reflection appearance. This figure shows the illustration of experimental system. This system configuration, this system's configuration is same as the gross appearance. But uh, idea is uh, this point. Usually, reflected image is calculated by using the radius T, but this calculation is very high very costly. Therefore, we adopt the appro approximated calculated by using the point spread function. And the same system rendering system, we, we can uh, detect, uh, we can construct. This figure shows uh, experimental. This is a real object. It looks uh, reflected reflection image. And our system has a projection by using use a projection on the white paper. And this pattern is a um, flat computing. So projection just like this. So camera uh, the magnetic magnetic electric sensor is settled to the camera and projection image is real time set to the accurate position. <laughs> By applying applying our techniques, various appearance can reproduce exactly. And to control this sharpness, point script function. We can simulate the roughness of object surface. So finally, I will talk about the analyzing appearance. In this section, we introduce the 3D reproduction and appearance, appearance of evaluation for appearance material property. So it is well known that uh, Gross is a reflection image of light. And the distance is different from object surface. Example, this is an object surface is a mirror surface. Therefore, it is important to this disparity of gross is different from the object. This theory is summarized by Blake as a specular steel model. So if the surface is, has a curvature, the reproduction method is complex. So this accurate geometry is necessary to reproduce the gross appearance. So such as light observer position, light position and observer position and surface shape is needed. Therefore, we develop the 3D dis display system with eye tracking, with eye tracking. This system consists of IR camera and 3D projection um, setting known position and stereo glass with IR LED, which is marker of observer's position. Here, it is important to projection the projection must be corrected according to the eye position. If the position observer watch 3D position from some angles, the virtual world is, it is can perform the accurate rendering, but actual projection image is perspective. 
has perspective. Therefore, we adapt the inverse perspective compensation at the rendering process. By doing this, the projection image is corrected from the observer. Moreover, compensation is applied to the 3D rendering. So, <coughs> other task is that projection image must be rendering at real time. So, however, it is costly to vary the roughness. Roughness of the reflection image with the surround scene. Therefore, we use the cube mapping and the roughness is approximately by point selective function. By combination, these two rendering system technology, the change of appearance by surface roughness, surface roughness can be expressed in real time. So this video shows the experimental result. I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry. It's a bit light for the English language. What's happening? Ah, oh, yes. That's right. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> Uh, this is a glasses on the LED, uh, IR LED, and this is this is video show uh, shows a uh, camera on uh, camera position. So we can do that. Uh, accurate perspective compensation is occurred, and this 3D uh, display can change the size of size um, according to the observer's position. So we can we can reproduce the uh, appearance of growth. Oh sorry. So by using the, this system uh, we evaluate the material property. In this rendering, we use a WAS reflection model and the OpenGL uh, shader language program is used. Therefore, uh, <coughs> we can change the three parameters <coughs> of material property like this. And in this evaluation, four kinds of material and three kinds of shape are selected for the subjective evaluation. Four kind of material is aluminum, rubber, graphite, ceramics, and the shape is a shaper pro body. So in this evaluation, uh, diffuse difference is decided empirically, and the specular reflectance and roughness are controlled by the subject to match the <coughs> appearance between the rendering process and their images. They use uh, uh, wireless keyboard and change the uh, real time, uh, change the uh, appearance real time. By uh, change parameter is uh, surface roughness and speaker. And uh, the trial takes three times. At first, uh, the observer decides the appreciated appearance. And uh, more for, furthermore, the parameter is moved, and we found they found the appreciate, appreciate, acceptable range. The result of each object. This is an aluminum uh, horizontal line, uh, vertical line. In uh, horizontal line, the specular refle uh, uh, reflectance and. Uh, Vertical line is a roughness. And next, rubber. <coughs> and next, work, uh, graphite. And next, ceramic. It is very interesting. Uh, 
what will fit with that the distribution of uh, aluminium and ceramic the same kind of distribution but also the wide of distribution is different and uh, diffuse reflectance is different and the result of graphite and rubber they are also same kind of distribution but slightly graphite has a speaker in this way and this is, there is a possibility to analyze the material property and to control the appearance of material by using the parameter. So, I conclude on my talk. So, why do we keep the heat on this appearance? So, I think. Appearance is a quality of product, product. High quality is one of the characteristics of Japanese product. Therefore, uh, we need we it is important to uh, inspect the appearance. Depend on the standard, the color information is useful uh, in the industry field. Example for uh, ISO DIN, this is decides the optical geometry, and the CIE de decides the quantified method of the LA listener. But on the other hand, how can it quantify the spectra or glossy? So it is very difficult because high contrast sensitivity sensitive to the angle and clear vision factor. So however, it is very important for industrial application. Therefore, we are challenging the appearance in production and analysis of material property by visual perception. So projection-based real display system, we developed a projection-based real display system of visual simulations, and we evaluate the vision perception by using a computer graphics. So our goal is we quantify the appearance perception by using optical and visual and computational science. Thank you for your kind attention. Thank you very much. Yeah, very interesting. Is there any questions? Anybody have any questions? Yeah. <coughs> Could you explain the light field camera setup again? Yeah. Yeah. I want to want it to know. Our our system is one use of one camera and movement <laughs> XY stage, so not real time, but we can get the high um, resolution data instead of the camera array. Yeah. So this is basically a camera right that's moving. Yeah. But, but I my question was on this yeah. setup was since you're only recording the reflectance, how do you simulate the change of lighting? Because you mentioned there change the lighting position. How do you change the lighting position oh, if yeah. you record the reflectance? Mm -hmm. <coughs> Mm 
many, many, many ways is captured, and that's a unique position, only a center position. Example of that, uh, this is a, a unique position. And uh, we collected the past image and uh, only a specular, separate the specular and diffuse by using the uh, right optical flow. So we collected the uh, unique point, so com uh, uh, combine the whole image. Okay, but yeah, what I mean is you only measure mm -hmm. an outgoing light field. So you measure the light rays yeah. that are reflected by your scene and go into the cameras. Mm -hmm. But you mentioned in one slide that you change the lighting position, but you have no recorded ingoing light field. You have no controlled lighting that allows you to change the lighting position. You can only change the viewing position, but not the lighting position, as far as I see. Oh, hmm. So we 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 don't um, understand. So the object so is illuminated by the environment. Now. Yeah, the image is one one dimension, one light, one light. One yes, and the camera is moving. Yeah. So. The dimension is changes yeah. at the, any point, any position. Okay, but you can yeah. only record the reflected light rays. So you cannot change the ingoing light rays. You cannot change the lighting position. You can only change the viewpoint. Yeah, 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 yeah. that's right. Um, <coughs> I'm sorry. It it is uh, correct, but uh, by uh, obey obey the. Uh, dichromatic reflection model. Uh, we we consider that the, uh, if the light is fixed and the camera is moved, but this uh, reflection is a uh, specular reflection, and input angle and output angle is. Uh, you can consider. You assume you have only yeah. perfect specular so objects. It is an assumption. <clears throat> More questions? This was one of my questions because yeah. I didn't understand how you change the lighting positions, but if you assume mirror objects or specular objects, then of course you have the duality directly. Yeah. But these crystal-like objects, I'm not sure if they are really mirror-like objects, because if you send in light rays, they will be refracted mm -hmm. from the inside yeah. here quite differently. Yeah. So you can probably not simulate this by changing the view position when you want to simulate the change yeah, in the uh, position. I think it is a fundamental problem, but uh, in this question. In this case, uh, this is uh, in this case uh, we separate the specular yeah, by optical flow. So, if the movement is many, uh, is a surface reflection. Yeah. yeah. Another question I had for the very first slides that you showed on color matching. Yeah. When you showed the comparison of a printed piece of paper yeah. with a color pattern and a projected mm -hmm. color pattern, yeah. where no difference can be seen. I'm sorry to wait. Yeah. <laughs> wait a minute. Projection now. This one? This, um, yeah, we showed a video where. I think that's the video is in the background. Yeah. Not good. Yeah. So if you start the slide, it's the correct slide, slide 13, but the video is in the background. 13. Yeah. The correct slide, and if you will start the presentation. 
is it not the one that is marked already? <coughs> Number 13. 13. Oh, yeah. But this in the background. Yeah. <coughs> so if you wanted to compare color yeah. accurately, you can reproduce the colors mm -hmm. using a projector, yeah. projecting it on a white piece of paper compared to a printed mm -hmm. paper. Mm -hmm. um, how much do you have to make sure that the color gamuts of the printer and the projector are the same? Oh, and yeah, 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 yeah. Gamuts, of course, you can only use like that's right. Uh, yeah, small portion. So, uh, <coughs> that's a good point. Uh, this system can only uh, uh, print the gamma printer is smaller than the projection system. So projection has a uh, limitation of the government, but so if the printing it use a glossy color, example for glossy color, very um, special color, so it, 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 it cannot projection, but there is a limitation. And if you run a user study with humans looking at this, yeah. I mean, when you record it with a camera, mm -hmm. like this picture, yeah. when we look at this, mm -hmm. it looks very similar. Yeah, but of course, we have to consider the color gamut of the camera that you use for photographing this image, which is also limited. Yeah. So everything is like limited by the minimum color gamut of these three devices, the printer, projector, and the, the camera. When we have a user looking at this with a very wide color gamut, yeah. do, do they think it looks as similar as we can see it in yeah. pictures? Actually, uh, it is very similar. In that, because uh, this system has a texture of the paper, yeah, so that's a good point. So, with the projection image, so uh, the color slightly changed, but uh, reality is a very good for projection image. But like the camera you used for taking this picture, mm -hmm. the camera has maybe can only record so many colors, not much. I can perceive yeah. much more colors mm -hmm. when I look at it. Yeah. So the color difference, the fine color difference yeah. that are present between these two samples would not be recorded by the camera. So if mm -hmm. you look at the image, like, we will not see the difference in the color. Yeah. But when I look at this in reality, we might see the difference because our human perception can distinguish much more colors. Yeah. And the other, the other question yeah. I had was for the appearance reproduction yeah. work where you use projectors, very similar to that, but the one where you simulated the glossy tube-like objects. This one? This one? No. <coughs> no. What it was later, I think? With the ah, tube -like 3D? Tube-like -like objects? No, sorry. Ah, this one. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> sorry. This one. I this is for the Sorry. Where the mouse pointer is. This one. Oh, yeah. No, yeah. This one. Yeah. yeah. Sorry. <coughs> so just to recap what you do. On the left hand side, it's a physical glossy object, and on the right hand side yeah. is a, a smooth object yeah. projected. Again, we don't see this in the photograph, but when you look at this in reality, of course the projector has a certain resolution. You might see the pixels yeah. so close. The other issue is that if you illuminate a real object by environment light, of course light hits the surface from all directions. Projector light hits a point only from one direction. If you assume perfect inversion surface, that might be ignorable, but no surface is perfectly inversion, so you have certain here. Mm -hmm. Don't you distinguish the difference simply because you use a projector device as a light source having a very directional illumination yeah. and a discrete pixel structure, limited focus, of course you run out of get blurred images and more focused images where the pixel structure can be seen so it's not seen. Is this something that people can distinguish? Yes, that's right. So, 
in the system, we need uh, several dis distance yeah. to and, and uh, so it is a um, not a trick, but uh, this is a control to the we control to the actually uh, luminance of the real object is controlled. Yeah, in the system. So we need a uh, distance and uh, control the color, uh, uh, luminous, uh, luminous system. So we can need the same uh, perception. But uh, at a different condition, uh, the observer can detect, uh, can distinguish a difference. But the extra question I have is your statement was the observer can see a difference mm -hmm. in this case because you assume that the microstructure yeah. and the material, like this roughly, yeah, like the close up, mm -hmm. can be seen. Yeah, cannot be seen. Yeah, yeah, yes. But on the other hand, you could see the mm -hmm. artifacts that are produced by the projector here, which are not present here. Would yeah, that be also a source of where mm -hmm. we can distinguish the difference. So you, you mentioned that you capture mm -hmm. the EIDF on the one yeah. hand side, apply it to the other hand side to simulate the microstructure. Was, there, yeah. was this better? Did that become better mm -hmm. in terms of seeing a difference? Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, mm -hmm. in this case, uh, the observer. Uh, uh, opi observer's opinion is uh, stop is uh, very easy to detect, uh, distinguish. But movement uh, during the movement we can detect the difference. Yes. And then you use the delta e yeah. method for oh, it's a very special method. <laughs> It, but, but I guess you would yeah. have to record HDR images because you have high contrast in projections. Yeah. And then the delta E metric won't work for HDR images. It's a good image metric for normal LDR images, but not for measuring what the human would, what the, the human perception difference would be. There are other metric, metrics that are based on HDR yeah. to measure how large human perception difference mm -hmm. would be between two images. Can you consider to use other metrics as well, except the delta E? Mm, other concepts. Okay. The, the delta E metric yeah. is normally used for comparing image difference. Yeah. That are uh, that can of images that are in the R. Yeah. But how oh, in the objection yeah. image, if you have so much contrast, you would actually need to record HDR images, and then if you want to compare them to compute how much difference the human would perceive, yeah. you would not be able to use the delta E metric anymore. So that's something um, yeah. that's based on HDR. So like the, I don't it's remember the name. Yeah. Yeah. The mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. There is one actually very famous yeah, yeah, yeah. matrix developed by M Max Planck Institute. Oh, Max Planck, yeah, I don't, I don't remember the name. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But they are able to compute visual visual difference. Difference, yeah, yeah, yeah. HDI yeah. is really different. Yeah, and they record two HDI, they have a ground truth HDI image and another HDI image, and they're able to tell the human is able to see the difference at that spot. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And because of frequency, luminance, and contrast. So yeah. there's a whole visual perception model mm -hmm. behind it. That I'm yeah. I forget. Many people in graphics use this now because it's the most precise. Yeah. That there is a uh, simply method of between if the um, Two two patch area similar uh, similar uh, two patch area is what is the difference is very good method but uh, example this way so another surround image is difference we can change the difference mm -hmm. so um, only a, a 
so uh, it is not uh, not uh, uh, not notice uh, very uh, um, pay attention. Uh, example for the uh, what is a uh, salon color. This case is a uh, almost same image, so it is okay. But difference uh, contrast or salon images, it is pay attention to the, this. BBDP, visual difference between the Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. And that's yeah, a HDR yeah. version. Yeah, I know. We, we used it. Mm -hmm. That's my question. So I think, yeah. oh, uh, yeah. Is this being focused? I think the version. Yeah, that's my question. More questions from you? I have one further. Rather yeah. general question: What are the open issues that you want to address in the future? So, what are your future work plans? Future work plan, yeah. <laughs> so, I have some um, hope, but I I want to um, I want to make a BRDF measurement by using the right field camera. The possibility of future work, uh, I, I hope um, I, I, can, I can measure the BRDF data by using the right field camera, or uh, I... So, I will try to the 3D production, reproduction, combined with the uh, with uh, 3D object. So I hope I next future future <laughs> project I will try to the uh, to Mm -hmm. oh. So I have a, an idea. Idea? Yeah. Well, it's a bad idea. Maybe a good idea, maybe not a good idea. But we have to turn off the camera. And off the camera, but only can discuss it offline. Yeah. So I think I have an idea where you could use the right field sampling for the idea of measurement. Yeah. Uh, score of the <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Free to work in this. I uh, do. Yeah, you already yeah. Yeah. addressed it. Thank you. <clears throat> okay. Oh. Thank you very much. Yeah. I'm sorry.